Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, where I host my very own website. So whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace, and I have a 10% off discount code. So stay tuned till the end of the video for more information on that. Hello, so we are here in Palma in Mallorca. If you've been following me on Instagram and also on our vlog channel, you'll know we've been in Mallorca for the last week and a half. We're here until Tuesday, it's now Saturday, and we've come to Palma for the day. We're staying in the south of Mallorca, but we've come up to Palma for the day because we wanted to sort of explore and see, and I thought I would do a kind of what I ate on holiday. So I'm gonna film what, I, what I'm eating today and also maybe on Monday or something when we go to the beach, because I wanna kind of give you some ideas on the foods you can eat as a vegan when you're on holiday, on vacation. I did a video when we went to Porto giving some tips, but I wanted to show you actually what I eat. <laughs> the juice. Uh, Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so that was really embarrassing, the food just arrived and they were watching me on camera. But what I was going to say is, before I get into this video of what I eat in a day, um, if you have suffered from disordered eating or eating disorders, don't compare yourself. I just am giving you ideas on what to eat as a vegan and that's the place that I'm coming from. So don't compare the way I eat to the way that you eat. What I've just ordered, let me show you. So I got this little bowl. We're at this place called My Muy Bueno Deli and it's very British, but um, it came up on Happy Cow, which I highly recommend you get when you travel because it just shows you all the vegan and vegetarian and vegan options everywhere. And I got this bowl where you select different things from the deli. So I think it's a quinoa broccoli salad, a what it, tomato and olive salad, some charred greens, hummus, and then like a chili dip, and then this incredible homemade bread as well as a delicious green juice. And then Alex, what have you got? You've got some avocado uh, on avocado, toast. Avocado, hummus, tomato and toast. And a latte. And yeah. And how beautiful is this crockery? I want this in my own house, oh my goodness. So yeah, let's dig in. It does taste like a Mars bar. It's melting like crazy because it's like 30 degrees right now. Yeah. Mm. Pepper ice cream. Wow. Right, chocolate on your mouth. Here you go. Oh my god, it actually tastes like salted caramel ice cream. It tastes like a caramel magnum. I've got chocolate all over my mouth. I think you're okay now. Love yeah. that, the food was absolutely amazing. That Mars bar thingy tasted like a Magnum or caramel Magnum or a Mars bar ice cream, it was so good. And the staff were really friendly, so if you're in Palma, definitely go there. Is it Palma or is it Palma? Let Palma. me know. Palma? Palma is the town in Italy. Okay. Where Palma ham comes from. Okay, whoops, <laughs> Palma. and we saw this place that had, where is it, vegan and gluten-free gelato and it's called Iceberg. It was just around the corner from the um, cathedral. She did give us a plastic spoon to try, try the sorbets before we could say we have our own, so a bit of a plastic-free fail, but we've got strawberry, orange and mint and lemon and they are so good. Wherever you are in Europe, you can get sorbet that's vegan everywhere it's, and it's really, really delicious, so. Perfect for the 33 degree heat. <laughs> It is 
unbelievably hot today. It's like 33 degrees Celsius, which for some people I know you're gonna be like, that's not hot. In a city, it's hot. It's, hot. Like, it's so I, muggy. Like my arm is like covered and Alex's arms are covered in sweat. But I just wanted to say, when you are in a European city or if you're traveling or whatever and you don't have water, you don't necessarily need to buy bottled water. I mean, sometimes you have to because you're just in a pickle, but we just nipped into a place behind us for some tap water and you just have to check online whether the tap water in the country you're visiting is okay. Uh, in Mallorca, the tap water's fine. So I just nipped in there, asked for tap water. Sometimes they turn their nose up a bit. They're like, oh, the tap water's no good. Um, just probably because they're trying to be careful. Um, but it's fine. We've been drinking tap water since we've been here and it means we've now got lots of water to stay hydrated and no excess plastic has been used. So give that a go. A lot of cities also have water fountains. Uh, we haven't seen any here, but I know loads of European cities have water fountains all over because they're so, they're so hot. So yeah. yeah. Desperately needed this and this is like cold as well, whereas yeah, yeah. the water we had before was so hot. We are just around the corner from this place called Treff, which is a vegetarian, vegan place, and it's got lots of gluten-free options, and it's so good, and the guy here is so friendly. And I just ordered a pizza. Look at this. I think it's got almond cheese, and mushroom, and vegan cheese, and rocket, and oh my gosh, this looks so good. We've eaten it here twice already, but um, I haven't tried this pizza yet. Oh no, well. <coughs> And that cheese tastes homemade. Mmm, yum. Alex got a vegan kebab. Holy I'm cow. I'm gonna try and eat it like a kebab, but it's gonna go everywhere. Come on. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, it's so full. Got a little bit on your face. Just a bit. Just a little bit. Just a touch. I'm back on the gluten as well, by the way. Mm. How good is that? Mm. Reminds me of the ones in Croydon and is it Shoreditch, the box park places. Mm. So good. Wow. We are at Cala Mondrigo, is that right? Yeah. It's like a cute little beach, we've just got a boat here and it's really, really fun. And we're setting up for the day. And what we've been living off since being here, honestly, is crisps. They do these gigantic packets of Lay's, which is Walker's in the UK. And also these hummus snacks. I don't know what they are, but they're so good. And they say on the back, suitable for vegans. And they literally taste like basil and pesto and just the most delicious things. I'm obsessed with pea crisps. So I definitely recommend whatever place you go to, crisps have always got your back. They're always the best snack ever. Sorry if it's windy. And also, baguettes. We have been living off baguettes in the evening and for lunch. So we've just literally just bought a baguette, some tubs of hummus, which you can get everywhere nowadays, and some biscuits, which are probably melted, but these are accidentally vegan. Get to know what words like um, leche is uh, milk in Spain so we just and everything's always highlighted in bold so you can always tell 
these are the things that we've been eating literally every day and it's the best way to have a little picnic on the beach. So it is our last day in Mallorca, it's our last evening in Mallorca. This is our view if you haven't seen it yet and we are going to have a classic meal that we've been having this whole holiday which is kind of like tapas but not really tapas but kind of yeah it's like tapas because I find this is the easiest thing to eat on holiday when I'm in a hot country and it's a really easy thing to eat as well if you're with family who aren't vegan because you can just get loads of vegan bits to put on the table and we tend to have things like olives, rocket, salad, cucumber, pickles, um, chilies and then kind of cook may maybe something like tonight we're going to cook some garlic mushrooms and some chickpeas, some sort of like paprika spice tomato -y chickpeas and have it with some bread and olive oil and maybe some hummus and avocado. We don't have hummus and avocado tonight because we've run out and we're kind of trying to eat everything that we have left in the fridge and the cupboards but that's what we've been eating every day and we just make a huge platter of it and dig in and it's honestly what what we've been living on and I love it so much it's such a delicious meal to have and I feel like we're gonna have to recreate it back at home and also it's really really cheap so you can have a really filling meal that feels like you're kind of out at a tapas restaurant maybe but you're not having to spend any money really because you're buying it in the supermarket so let's get cooking this chickpea dish the other day and it was so good and we made the garlic mushrooms yesterday although today we didn't have as much garlic as I would have liked um, but yeah that's it for today's what I eat in a day or what I ate on holiday um, I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas on what to eat if you're going somewhere abroad and let me know what videos you'd like to see from me when I get back home and also don't forget to check out our vlog channel because we vlogged our holiday so if you want to see some fun holiday vlogs then everything like that is always over on our vlogging channel Alex and Maddie and I'll leave a link up here or down below and I'll see you next time and enjoy this view for the last time and then we'll be flying back home to Brighton tomorrow which isn't so bad bye so today's video was sponsored by Squarespace I fell in love with Squarespace when I created my own website on the platform. It was so easy to use. I fell in love with all of the templates because they have so many on there and they're really, really beautiful to look at. It's an all-in-one platform, which makes everything so easy, especially if you're new to website design, you don't have to install anything upgrade anything it's just all there for you ready and they have award-winning 24 7 customer support it's really simple to set up or transfer your own domain to squarespace i had a www.madelineolivia.co.uk and i was concerned when setting up my website that this might be a tricky thing to put across to whatever platform i decided to use and when i chose squarespace it was so so simple there were step-by-step -step guides for it that was another thing that I found really helpful. They have forums with step-by-step -step guides to everything on there. So you can tweak and alter anything you want on your on your template 
and teach yourself everything. I also wanted to sell my eBooks on there and their online store is really easy. You can manage your products easily. You can see your orders, your inventory. So if you are like me a few months ago and you wanna set up your, your first ever website and you're new to website design, then definitely, definitely use Squarespace. I highly recommend, super user-friendly and I think the results speak for themselves because I think my website is pretty darn cool. So if you're interested, then you can use the code Madeline for 10% off of your purchase using the link www.squarespace.com slash Madeline Olivia. I'll leave all the information in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.